So today I want to dive into timelines with DaVinci Resolve and why you should have multiple, well, I would recommend having multiple timelines. Um, I'll explain it within this video and we'll keep it again very, very brief. So DaVinci has a bonus compared to a lot of the other softwares. Um, I don't know for sure, so you can't quote me on this, um, but I, I'm not aware to my knowledge that Adobe Premiere adds this and Final Cut has more of a linear timeline. So if I am wrong, let me know in the comments, uh, but DaVinci just makes it, like I said, I left everything, moved over and migrated to here. Um, the reason why I particularly use uh, multiple timelines is because I hate having multiple files for video. So in the past, and I'll show you this, I'll pop it up right here, you can get very heavily deep into like your, like for instance, I was at one point splitting it up between multiple uh, libraries, and I can dive into that in a different video if you'd like to understand that. Uh, but I had multiple timelines, multiple, uh, or not timelines, sorry, multiple uh, libraries, multiple files, and it just, it, it started to get kind of hectic. And so when I would go, like for instance, the, uh, the Vegas video, let me exit out of here, for the Vegas video, I wanted to have a trailer. I wanted to have a side-by-side -side so you can see the difference in log. I wanted to have all these different types of videos. And what I would do in the past when I was using Sony Vegas or Adobe Premiere is I would copy and paste my timeline to, a, or I would do a save as rather, and um, basically rename that file and create it as like, let's say Las Vegas uh, tutorial or Las Vegas trailer. And so these would be separate videos and it would take up more space. And I have to remember, oh, was this clip on this trailer? Was this clip on this? Was this on that? Now it's totally different. Now all I have to do is keep everything inside, like all of my video footage, all of my animations, everything inside of the actual media file. And if you look at the previous videos, I'll explain why I did all of this. Uh, but I keep everything inside of one folder. And then what I do is I go to my timeline. Let's do this as an example. Um, actually, let's take this off. I'll show you a different way to do this. Uh, so let's go click, right click into where it says master. Let's right click, let's go to timelines and let's just create a new one. I don't really care what it's named, so I'll just do timeline seven. And in timeline seven, let me get rid of this, um, you'll be able to start off from scratch. So what I can do is go back into, you don't have to follow me, this is just a example. Uh, let's do, actually, I'll show you this in a second, let's do this. Let's just copy and paste. Let's go into timeline seven. And now we have our video. And so I can easily play around with the settings. I can create a whole separate trailer. I can start dicing up, add an audio, like literally everything with this without damaging my original files, without damaging my entire uh, save work. Uh, literally, this is like your fail safe. If you want to experiment with a particular animation or if you want to experiment with uh, a particular sound or just if, if you're playing around with things you do not want to damage your timeline just literally control a or command a i think for the macbooks drag everything into a brand new timeline mess around with it if you hate it just blow it away and if you don't have these tabs right here click right here on the right corner and again i'm using davinci resolve uh, 18 as of 20 at the end of 2022 so december 2022 uh, you should have the same files and you want to check this right here there's so many different modes on here, but you see if, if yours looks like this and you don't have the timelines, just again, click right here, press it, and now you have your different timelines on here. And you wanna get familiar with this because you can add in your sizes, you can change the audio size, you can add the files, what shows, you can play around with it. You notice this kind of puts up the, uh, the pictures for it. Um, I'm not gonna dive deep into that because I think that's just more of a, um, that's more of like your, your preferences. Um, but again, having this, extra timeline space within DaVinci makes it a night and day difference. And then one trick that I recently learned is right here. So on the on the bottom, uh, well, I guess the mid right of it, let me exit back out of this. Um, you have your little plus sign, what does it say? Let me see, does it hover? I won't tell you what it is, but basically it's adding in another timeline. So if you want to have two timelines stacked on top of each other, I can go back into this. Let's just add, let's just do B-roll. And let's see what a side-by-side -side looks with the four. Um, I can easily click between these, see what my timeline is looking like. 
and see what this is looking like as well too. So if you are doing, which I'll probably, uh, that video won't be as, as short and condensed, um, but if you are diving into more of, um, let's say like, like collaboration work through the cloud, uh, then you can work on the trailer while someone else is working on the main course of the video. Does that, if that makes sense, that's, that's what you're essentially doing. Uh, but please, please, please get used to uh, timelines. Again, I primarily work on one. Um, so this is obviously my final, I believe. The comparison video is the last one I did. I typically work on one timeline, but you know, you have your selections for it. And then again, just like the previous video, if you are used to the, the bins, I made a entire uh, bin profile, as you can see right here. This is my timeline. This has all my different timelines. And so that way, if I'm clicking through my files, like let's say I am, uh, let's just say video. Let's say I'm editing through this and I wanna make sure I have everything where it's nice and neat. I have my timelines on separate files, so that way I can just thumb through, drag and drop without accidentally porting over and just messing up and ripping apart DaVinci. Um, so again, this is the quick, or the quickest tutorial I can think of, a brief uh, crash course in regards to timelines. Uh, but please get used to them. And again, just make sure that you have this right here checked on your timeline view options. So that way you can add in multiple different timelines to flip and thumb through uh, really, really quickly without having to, like it basically with this feature allows you to not, um, you know, plop in between different saved actual video files and having to relink everything. It like, it's just, this, this saves you on such a, like you'll see it once you dive into deeper, deeper editing. It is a massive, massive difference. Uh, but I won't keep this video long at all. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you.